Happening right now, a prayer vigil just wrapped up inside the state capitol. Faith leaders from across the state converged on the governor's office earlier this afternoon, and they tell us they prayed for the end of the death penalty in Oklahoma and an immediate stop to all executions. Now, of course, this is taking place as the state prepares for its next execution in less than 24 hours. Convicted killer James Coddington faces lethal injection Thursday morning, tomorrow morning. His execution comes after Governor Stead denied the state pardon and parole board's recommendation for clemency for Coddington earlier today. He made that decision. Coddington was convicted of murdering Troy Hale in 1997. Hale was beaten to death with a claw hammer. And as News 4's Nick Camper shows us, with nearly two dozen additional executions set to take place over the next couple of years, one Metro church is taking a stand in hopes of sparing the lives of those on death row. It's new at five. Outside of this church here on West 23rd Street, they have 25 crosses that are lined up on the sidewalk. These 25 crosses represent the 25 executions that are set over the next couple of years. The leaders here say that they're going to paint each cross green if clemency has been granted by the governor. But this cross right here, representing James Coddington, will be painted red. As much as uh, our governor does have power, he doesn't have the power of forgiveness. He doesn't have the power of retribution. Those things reside in the hand of God. Leaders at Clark United Methodist Church will continue to advocate on behalf of James Coddington and the 24 other inmates that are scheduled for execution. They've set out crosses to represent all the death row inmates set to die over the next couple of years. If the execution continues and our governor does not change their heart and instead continues to contribute to this system of evil, we'll be bathing that cross in red. On Wednesday, Governor Stitt said he reviewed arguments and evidence presented by all sides of the case when he denied clemency for James Coddington. Coddington was 24 when prosecutors say he killed Albert Hale in 1997 when he refused to give him cash for cocaine. When the Pardon and Parole Board recommended clemency, Attorney General John O'Connor responded in a statement saying, the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board hearing is not designed to be a substitute for a trial before a jury. This week, KFOR spoke to Coddington's attorney, Emma Rolls, about this week's execution. He's, he's hopeful, but he understands that his life could end on Thursday, and he's making those preparations as well. In an updated statement, Rolls says Coddington appreciates the Pardon and Parole Board's acknowledgement of his remorse. Saying in a statement today, the board's clemency recommendation acknowledged James's sincere remorse and meaningful transformation during his years on death row. In Oklahoma City, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. And Coddington's execution will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. in McAllister. A crew from KFOR will be there with a live report in the morning.